Hey everybody, so I just wanted to show you what was going on. We had our first pretty good sized storm for autumn last night and we came up in the middle of the night and checked on the place and everything to see how the trees were going and how the land was acting with that amount of rain. Uh, very strong winds. There's been trees down everywhere all over the road and that kind of thing. Uh, the drive at about four o'clock this morning was terrible with the amount of leaves that were on the road. I mean, you could just feel it trying to drag you and slide you around. But uh, everything did do pretty good up here. Um, it has drained out. I was hoping I was going to be able to show you while I was still in there, but I'm glad that it drained because that's good. That um, right here, right in front of the camper, which isn't good, was a big pond probably from about there to over there. All the way up to here. I stepped in the middle of it and it probably came about three quarters of the way up my boot. So we're going to have to bring dirt up to fill that. And it was the same thing right over in this area. You can kind of see discoloration in the land. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up where it's more wet than all this. So right in the front of the camper and right in the back. Luckily not underneath it because that would suck to fix. But so we're just going to uh, bring up some loads of dirt over the weekend and uh, maybe some rock and stuff. Small rock obviously. And try to fill this up. We did uh, have to wipe up in the camper a little bit. We do know about this problem. It just hasn't gotten fixed yet that the uh, air vent that's up on top there, you can't see it, but there's an air vent up in the middle of the roof there. Uh, does need to be replaced. It has a crack in it. We had a tarp over it with uh, logs and everything, but it did blow up one corner and was kind of collecting water and just dripping through a little bit. We have a bucket in there, but it uh, splashed out a little bit onto the wood floor. So we just wiped it up and everything's fine. And then I was kind of mad because this was doing really well when we came last night, but I came down today and we had logs on top of here. I guess the winds were just that strong that it ripped off half the tarp over the wood. You can see it stayed pretty dry down there, but these whole top couple layers are uh, pretty soaked. But luckily the sun is coming out now, finally. This literally probably came out like 10-15 minutes ago. The winds have been strong, blowing the clouds really fast. It's actually getting really hot out here for fall. So I'm just going to pull the tarp off, let it dry out a little bit. I'm going to go inside and open the windows up in the camper, let it get some air after we enclosed with the humidity. And uh, what's really cool is I'm going to walk down to show you guys is that we do have the brook down there that our bridge is going across and it has been a tiny little trickle for an extremely long time, months now, since midsummer or so, you know, barely flowing over the rocks. You can't even see if the water's moving. It's actually flowing really well right now, so I will show you when we get down there. You can tell how deep that is. This little hill in front of me. I used to have to climb down. It was well above my knee, probably towards my hip, to where I would actually get down to the water. You can see the bank. And the stone wall over there, you can tell, kind of, too. There's probably another two layers of rock down from where it is now. And apparently all this got blown down. It wasn't in the best shape before as it was, but now it's actually laying in the water. Same thing if you can, you can't really see it on the camera through all the trees. Sorry about how it picks it up. You can kind of see the stem of the tree going up there, or trunk of the tree, excuse me. Right across into the water. And all this here, too, was um, actually like a swamp, that grass that you can kind of see sticking up in the middle right over here. It was actually all the way up in like a huge island with like two little streams going on either side. So it raised a lot. I'm really happy about this. It should stay like this all winter at this point.
just one quick update of many guys. We share everything that we do up here. We're trying to go self-sufficient in the end run. This is just the first step on our way. So if you like what you saw, definitely click the button below and subscribe. We upload videos all the time that way you can always know when they come up and follow along this journey. It's absolutely amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time.